Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, over, most people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It is Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Evo Way. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. That's going to control where this fight takes place. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these nine fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Punch his block. Big golf punch land. Now he gets back to range. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Beautiful 
Nelson kick. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Now connects with a right. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Another big body kick land. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Oh, nice punch there by Luke. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happened when this guy hits his double leg. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Right hand punch to the clinch. Great punch. He missed with that jab attempt there. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. And they separate. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Beautiful level change, DC to take that. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. He's having his way with him here. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Blocks the strike. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very bad. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Head kick lands. That's a big strike right there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! News hurts. Serves him up. Go get him. Big knee to the body. The straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Oh, wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Oh, Lee's shot is blocked. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. Oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. Very bad. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now, as the opponent's walking back to his corner, everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Ooh, blocks the shot. 
look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head, potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, see, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the street right now. Oh, straight right. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. You don't know when that leg kicks coming. Straight punch lands. And both fighters exchange with the punch at the top. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown. There. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits his takedown. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Lee gets back up. Just out of range with that strike. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Right hand punch the clinch. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh! Oh! Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. This is such a crazy fight. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He is really... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big punch land. Ooh. Right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh! Oh! Hands it. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that point. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just missed with the left there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Out of range with that one. Oh, tags him with that money left again. He blocks the punch. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Final seconds here.
display of all of his skills. He did everything in his championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. 